Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back once again with another Life is Strange video as we head towards getting that Platinum Trophy. Today we are starting episode 4. We're on to episode 4 out of 5 and if it's anything like episode 3 was, madness. It's, it's going to be crazy. If you haven't seen episode 3, I suggest you go and watch that one first before you watch this one. That one just ended crazily that's all I can say that's all I can say about it it was, it was just crazy so go and check that one out first before you watch this one and yeah let's get into episode four so it's actually been a f it's actually been a few days since I've actually played this I need a break after the craziness of episode three I'm looking forward to getting back into this. See what the hell is going on! Square Enix. I mean, Max, like... You shouldn't have messed with time travel. Have you not watched any films? With time travel? You don't, you don't mess with time travel. There's all the whales. We saw that at the end of the last episode as well. All the whales washed up on the beach. Life is Strange Remastered. Episode 4. Dark Room. We done messed up, Max. Look what you did to Chloe. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. It's weird seeing you like this. It was nice that you. With no blue hair. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier okay. to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh... Pretty much, yeah. I mean, just tell her the truth, Max. You know, the worst thing you can do is treat you me somehow like went back in time. I still want to laugh and talk stopped her dad myself. from dying. Can we stop? But caused this to happen instead. This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? The golden hour. Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. It's very sad. I kind of know how they feel. Mm. At least, I'm alive here with you. Every cloud, I guess. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh my god, our dad bought the car as well. Uh, I'm not going to blame William. Talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. God, that's rough. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. 
What, what do you say to that? Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Black Rose. Well, Rachel Amber. I mean, Rachel Amber. When was she still missing in this her? timeline? Never. I just read about her in the news. I you don't even me. know her. You did. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? What have we After done? No, an eclipse. It's more like the end of the world. Uh, it might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. Max, I think you need to things. stop changing things. I know things. things seem out of control, but... Seriously. Look what you've done. Together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. <laughs> You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Am I? Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No offense. What have we done? She doesn't like the word hella. Are we just stuck here now? Is this... Is this our world now? There's that lighthouse. Wow. I mean, minus the dead whale, it's quite a pretty shot. <laughs> Whew. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. Damn. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. What about TV? I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. I can imagine. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I God, can't this is horrible. Imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh... Can you can you bring me some water? Sure thing, Chloe. Sure thing. Jeez. Can I have like a look around here? Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. <coughs> snow globes are taking over. Listen, I'm sorry that you're coughing. Wait. Maybe if we just can we just give you water now? Drink up, Buttercup. Aww. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. It's the end thing. Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. Yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Yeah. It seems like we were kids in another I tried life. to help and this happened. Um, seems like yesterday. I mean, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here. Watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. Controversial. Everything in flour. Even I wasn't that. a fan of Power Rangers. So hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. 
As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Uh, it's rough. I'm not gonna ask which friends. You have me. me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. Got you. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Well, that's... That's what you don't know. Um, I am Supermax. Uh, they love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. I can imagine. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Yeah, I bet. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> I mean, you're Chloe such a Price, that's, that's... That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh... I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade, Blade Runner. I always cry at the end. Plus, okay. You know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get yeah. this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember Max. That's what I, I do. I, I'm the worst for watching not a film. Not yet. Oh yeah, I'm right in the mood to watch a movie. Let's watch a movie. Two minutes in. <laughs> With me. Okay. Um. Well, wait. Can I just like look around? I still can't believe I. Don't worry. I'll get the movie chair. on. In a minute. I just want to know what's around your room. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Oh wait, I can. I didn't it. add. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Thinking of I you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like, well, like I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different uh, now and I don't, I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. And then she said, right, I hope you are well. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. <laughs> I'm sure that made her feel great. Don't be blaming yourself. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Max. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Eh. Yeah. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That's awesome. There's the old Chloe. I can use a tissue. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> This is horrible. I don't like this. Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Butterfly effects. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Nothing this... but medical supplies. 
I don't like this. Right, wait a minute. Because I assume the DVDs will be over there. I'm glad I took this photo. That's Chloe the photo has a I took. William and her together. That was collectible number 10. In the last episode. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Skating, bruh. I like skating, bruh. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Really? Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Why, right, what's this say? Oh, God. So much to read. As principal, I am in sympathy with your numerous requests. For Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility, etc. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the Americans with Disabilities Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern reno renovations necessary to fulfill all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but that day will come. Chloe is without doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap, and I believe she would find a more fitting reward in scholastic environment so basically, they kicked her out because she was disabled. I hate this principal. This principal's the worst. He's actually the worst. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Don't worry, Chloe, I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. Uh, here's the DVD. Okay, but wait, let me have a nose in here first. Oh my god, I made that mix for her. Pirates? Can we watch that? Can we listen to that? That's awesome. Right, come on, let's watch Blade Runner. Have I ever seen Blade Runner? Come to think of it. I don't know if I have. I must have. Maybe. Now, Chloe, the question I have for you is, did you fall asleep on me? Did you fall asleep on me? It's okay if you did, but I just want to know. Have you been awake this whole time? I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? I know you were beat How down dare you? Me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Just in the morning? Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but 
Being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. No problem. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? Of course. It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Sure thing. Uh, can I leave? Can I leave? Hey, William. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know Chloe? how to say this, but... <laughs> I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. I'm glad you're she's here. She's amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe. If I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is... God, this is just so, so tough. Nostalgic. This is just so tough. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Uh, crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this died. crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows. Some weather we've been having, right? It is Nostradamus. <laughs> it's the go to conversation. French, but all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. <laughs> Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Does she not even work at a diner anymore? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel wow. Moore. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I was impressed by Chloe's room and yeah, it's pretty all awesome. high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must yeah, I can be imagine. hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if I get it. Means anything. Your last name's Price. I guess. It's it was quite so a little great fun. talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. This insurance is worthless. What the hell's Victoria texting me for? Come by my room tonight. Max, right, so are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you uh walked away so fast, Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Leave me alone, Victoria. Oh my god, look at all these messes. Taylor. I mean, all these. Oh my god, in this world, we're friends with Nathan. Uh, we need to go back. Lisa.
We need to go back. I don't like it here. I want to go home. Anyone in here? Where's Joyce? Oh, Joyce is in here. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Wow, even your room is different. The bed was like here before. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope, I so. hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Yep. I have to tell this is you so tough. how much I love seeing you and William together. I keep saying that, but He's it is. I don't I, I don't like this reality. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so Sounds about right. when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Yeah, you Things do. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But Imagine it nobody is. Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Yeah. <sighs> do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Oh, you know, Cute, just quiet. Why? And I'm not I'm, just I'm, in I'm another just... reality. You're married to him, you know. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Oof. Yeah, William said do that. Do you know the Prescotts? So you I do still Sean work Prescott at two, won't two be wheels. Happy until he Blue wheels. Everything two in wheels. Arcadia Bay. What's it called? The diner. Son, Nathan. Yeah. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly. I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. Uh, I don't, I don't exactly blame, blame you, yeah. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Bye-bye, Joyce. Is the Blue Jay still in here? Guess that was a different reality. Remember when it was up here? <laughs> Do I have to turn the light on? I don't want to waste electricity for them. Money is tight it's for cool. them. Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. Nothing? Is it in here? Here it is. There we go. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Is that like a normal thing? Have a cabinet right above the toilet? Was that in, like, the other reality? Like, I know about having a cabinet above the sink, but above the toilet? Is that normal? 
Wait, let me turn off the light. Save electricity. Oh no, I turned it back on again. Turn off. <laughs> I want to go in Chloe's room. What's in here? Or Chloe's old room. Wow. Wow. Look at it, it's all bare. Apart from the, the height chart thing. I never heard much about William's brother. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Let's play with the toys. Why not? They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Um. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. This is horrible. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug from me and my best wishes. Aunt Dorothy. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Nothing's a coincidence in this game. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. Right, let's go back to Chloe. Let's go back. What's up, William? I'm here. Here's your morphine. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. It's okay. You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. No problem. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. I like looking at old foes. Memories. It's awesome. Here we go. Let's have a look see what we got here. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. <laughs> and you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. They were really into pirates, weren't they? 
Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. That's the picture. Me too. Yeah, it's that's. A photo. Yeah. Maybe I could. Do it. Listen, we don't want to see Chloe like this. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard yeah. the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. Yeah, your mom kind of mentioned so that. I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Oof. Of course, accept. Do anything for you, Chloe. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together forever. I got you. Don't worry, we're gonna use that picture. We're gonna go back to our proper reality. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Right. Grab the picture. Focused on the picture. There we go. Sorry, William. Has to be done. Oh no, not this focusing thing again. I couldn't do this the last time. Oh, there we go. Is that not focused? I thought it was already focused. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. Oh, I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? It's a dollar for the swear jar. It's a dollar for the swear jar. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting. Oh, she's burning that photo. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised she's burning that photo so that with chocolate cake for dessert. She'll never come back here. She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. <laughs> Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. 
I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, yeah, we we're will. taking over the world. Listen, yeah, we are. Whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. This is so rough. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Foes are going back to how they were. I should be back married to David now. Yep. That might be Chloe and Rachel Amber. Oh. Well, we saw that in episode one. Everything back to normal. 